Hello, ladies and ladies. My name is Ark Hit King. Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. We're about to begin episode 4 Amid the Ruins. Some big stuff went down in the last episode, and although I didn't get to kill the Carver, because I guess my <laughs> my murder fantasies didn't get to come true, he is dead. I didn't get to kill a lot of people, but they probably died. Anyways. Let's hit play, and I will skip out all the, uh, preview stuff. Come! Ah! Oh man, we're starting right from the end of the uh, uh, last episode. Oh my god! No, it didn't save her! No! Where are you going? Kenny! Serena! Kenny! You can't die. I won't let you die. You have to move. There's too many. I thought I could save her that way. Come on, babe. Kenny! She's dead, man. Leave her alone! She was bit. I had to do it. Fucking dare you, Clementine! It's not gonna go like this. Kenny! I won't be left alone again. We're gonna leave. We're gonna get out of this. Kenny! I don't care what these fuckers are saying. You're gonna be fine. She's going to turn. You can't save no. her. Please, Kenny. No, no, no. Please, don't let her kill you. <laughs> She's gonna turn, man. You gotta let go. No! Oh. <laughs> what did you do? What the hell is going on? Why? Why? She won't suffer now. We have to go. Stop it, you fucking kid. Serena. Kenny. Damn it, man! Come on! on your head, Clementine! Oh, this is depressing! I'm, I'm going after Sarah! Oh, we are all gonna die. Man, I did not think the episode was going to go this way. <sighs> this is not what I expected. I did not want to have to kill her. Uh, but I, I thought I was going to save her. I was like, oh man, yeah, she's going to be missing an arm. But everything's going to be chill. Everything's going to be chill. But no, she ended up dying. And now it really does look exactly like that one comic. I don't remember what issue it is of the Walking Dead comic book, but Rick chopped her arm off to keep him, because she was grabbing onto him. Stop. I'll, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> I think I already explained it. I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? No one's with anybody. We're still covered in walker guns. He tripper. Head to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? Come on. There. I don't know if that was the right decision. Damn it! Go back! Go back! Ah! Jane! Jane! Thank God. Stop. Relax. You need to walk. Slowly. Janie's one tough ass chip. 
We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just You guys are fine. Just go. We should all stay together. Isn't that safer? Exactly the opposite. <laughs> all right, I guess I'm Re Rebecca. She might be going into labor soon. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just we need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Hey! Over here! You're not gonna bite anybody now, are you? Follow me. Anyways, like I was saying, Rick had to Keep chop the girl's arm off. Her hand off because she was clutching him because her boy had been bitten and he was being eaten and she started getting eaten and she grabbed Rick and so he chopped her hand off and left her to get killed and that's what that this episode reminded me of this video this episode whatever oh geez I'm falling behind but I think I got it woo and this is something that, uh, Let's go. I forgot the, I forgot the black chick's name from The Walking Dead, both from the comic book and the TV show, uh, da 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 Michonne, Michonne. She cut off their, uh, their jaws and whatnot so they couldn't bite you. So episode four, Amid the Ruins. I, I almost forgot in episode three that this was The Walking Dead. I knew things were going to be, be bad. Like we were going to get killed. Because I meant... Season 1 was really depressing. And season 2 is just as depressing. Like, is Clementine becoming a monster? I, I don't even know. Like, I hope not. Well, I'm, gonna, I, I, I'm not a monster. We can stop for a moment. If you need to. No. No. I, I can rest when we're with the others. I don't know. You're having a baby. You should probably take it easy. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? This plan was perfect until uh, the dad got killed. Aren't? Nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. No, just I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working. We could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Uh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. You think Jane would be a little bit more understanding, being a woman and all? <laughs> Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is... Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do 
Do you know anything about... No, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean to... Shit. Jane, wait. <sighs> Damn it. Angry people, angry survivors, hitting us, bidding us against each other. We're all gonna die. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. I can't believe I had to kill her. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. He won't shoot me. I'm I'm only 11. That should be the title of this entire season. The Walking Dead. I'm an 11-year-old girl. Please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Crap, he might be trying to kill himself. Hi, Kenny. Oh, shit. That's... You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm sorry, Kenny, man. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. Jeez. What the hell, Kenny? I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? You not how it works. Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. If she hadn't freaked out when I cut her arm off, she might have been safe. Crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Someone let me know if she would have died anyways. Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back that man's going through. At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. 
If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Oh, this is a tough episode for poor Clem. And Kenny, but Kenny's been through this. Although that doesn't really mean that he should take it easy. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. You know, Kenny pushed fate by surviving season one. I have a feeling he is going to die. Like, for real die, not magically survive. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I heard you say this in the preview. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. You know, that's almost kind of true. And why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. What... what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? You know, being a big sister is... well... it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd... I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just... Friends. <clears throat> Jeez. What the heck? All right. Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Huh, that's really smart. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one.
bullets. Those might be useful. Hold on to them. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Yeah, you can't make more ammo. I mean, suppose some people could. Not familiar with these guys. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. I probably couldn't either. I'd probably always keep my driver's license on me. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Guess you can't let the past go either. Gotta make sure they're dead. You can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Why are we rolling them over? Uh, I guess he might have something underneath them. <gasps> these glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. That shouldn't be too like hard. There. Oh my god! Oh no. Oh my god. He turned. No. No. Nick. Jesus. He's your friend. You should do this. I'm sorry, Nick. I gotta have better aim. There we go. Poor Nick. We've already lost so many people now. It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. Oh, I know. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Oh. Very effective. I do this. Uh, yeah, I remember doing that in the first season. I don't know, the ice pick gets lodged in there too. I'm so depressed, but I'm getting used to it. Calm down. They don't sound too good. The clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. There, How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. That sounds good. Go for it. Snap out of it. There we go. Eh, come on. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now I've done this before, like I said. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. I'm gonna be a, such a badass when I get older. First, then 
Put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Just, just calm down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. No, Dad. Hey, right, we got two. It's gonna take some work to get over there. There's too many. We're not What's getting in while we're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Can't help you if you Let's see if we can find anything over there. Alright, we're gonna head over to the truck. <laughs> really? Maybe I, oh, I should have taken him out. Although, I'm not sure if I would have been able to. Yeah, I got you, bro. Boom! To the knees. And you're dead. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? I like it. Guess I didn't get the kid to go to the truck. That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. We and what gets here. the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. What are you What's doing? going to grab Why their attention? I don't know if I... Uh, what do we got? Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. Uh, also, make sure to check out the description for links to my Facebook page and my Twitter. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.